What are some tips for students as they transition from school to work? You need to kind of know up front what you're willing to sacrifice. Are you willing to move? You know, I, started, I grew up in Tennessee, started in Tennessee, moved to Arkansas. We've got folks that have lived in seven states in four years. No, that's not bad. Fourteen years, probably. Uh, we got, you, you, but you need, you need to understand up front what you're willing to sacrifice. And you know what? Life's all about choices. And you may say, I want to stay pretty close to home. I want to stay in, I love Texas. I'm going to stay in Texas. Okay, fine. Just realize that provides some limits. I mean, if the CEO's job is in Arkansas and you're going to stay in Texas, guess what? You ain't going to be the CEO. That is a limiting factor. That job is there, right? But now, but now listen, that's a choice. It's a personal choice we all make. And, and, but you just need to decide what are you willing to sacrifice, okay? Second thing is enjoy the process. I'm going to tell you something. I have been turned down or look, more looked over because I, I really, once I asked the job for, once I asked the company for the first job, I never asked them for another one. Um, but I got, I got looked over for lots of jobs. I mean, a bunch. I've been working there 32 years. And there were a lot of things that I thought, what? I thought I was as smart as her. I should have got that. But I didn't. But listen, let me tell you something. If you don't get the first job you interview for here while you're here, listen, don't worry about it. Enjoy the process. What did you learn from that interview experience? What could you do better? Find a mentor. You do not have to learn everything by experience. Ask somebody that's already screwed up a lot and find out what they screwed up and then don't do that. You don't have to learn everything by experience. Experience is not the best teacher. It is a teacher, but it's not the best one. Sometimes experience hurts. Okay, So get a mentor and, and, and learn from them and some of their mistakes and don't make those mistakes. And then by the way, you will be a mentor and you'll screw up in different ways than your mentor did and your mentee can learn from your mistakes. Um, the next one is don't ever think you've made it. This is, a, this is a small industry. I walked around the floor today and you know, I talked to several friends that I used to work with at Tyson and, and, and um, it's great. You know, they've gone on to work for the other companies and they're doing great. It's just good to have friends. I've got friends all over this industry, right? It's a small world. But I'll tell you something, that it's kind of a universal principle. Those people in our industry who kind of think they've made it and they're starting to get a little cocky, get a little arrogant, they don't think they need to ask anybody for help, it's generally not long until there's a great fall. And so don't ever think you've made it. Keep yourself humble. Keep learning. Keep working hard. Keep trying to help your company do the best it can do. And you'll end up in a good place. And then finally, uh, do not be afraid to take risks. Part of that innovation thing. Don't, don't worry about making a mistake. Don't be afraid to take a risk.